This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now in uh, Neumünster in Deutschland, and we are sitting in the Tesla Model S Plaid from Marcus Biel. Big shout out to Marcus Biel for providing me this car. But okay, I'm going to reset now and get going with the trip. And then I'll explain a little bit. So now I want to try to hammer to see how it goes. I want to see how this thing overheats, if it will overheat. I've been running track mode now to cool down the battery, pre-cool the battery. See, it's nice and cold, 29 to 30 degrees. I don't want it too cold. Uh, I want okay performance. And charge to, yeah, I charge it 96% and I needed 3% to cool it down. So you see here, usable remaining 82 point, well, let me see, let me wait a bit. Let me write down. So we started with 82.5 kilowatt hour. I also tried to count how much losses we have. And here we have speed, here we have accelerator pedal. Okay, let's get going. Let's get on the autobahn. So the idea is to see how this car can perform. And also I want to see how long it can maintain VMAX. But VMAX, unfortunately for this car, is only 280 kilometers per hour because it doesn't have the, the brake package, what it's called, track package but uh, should still be quite fast. So let me see, wait, is that a uh, car wash? Wait, is that car wash? I'm not sure. Because um, I'm suddenly into car wash now because um, uh, it seems like maybe the, the wheels are slightly imbalanced, imba, yeah, or unbalanced rather. Uh, it seems to be schmutz in the wheels from rain and we're just driving and in the wet surface and then some sand gets stuck in the rim uh, so but we'll see we just have to uh, deal with it uh, as best as we can maybe i'll uh, enable the electronics double stabilizer here to help it so uh, any shake is pretty hard to avoid now especially at high speed but okay so um it's just a cool run for now but we'll try to stress the battery and this will be Similar to a test I'm going to make while I drive at 200 kilometers per hour. We've done it before with Model 3, Model X also. Just want to see in another test how much range do we have at 200 kilometers per hour. But in that test, that test, <laughs> uh, um, I will try to cruise at 200 even. Day. But now at least we will try to go over 200. We're going to have a little bit of fun. So this might be the most fun video. We'll see. Uh, so now get on the autobahn. Okay, let me see. So it's 10 in the evening on uh, a Saturday night. Yeah, the trucks are out already. So let's see if we can get some uh, good speed going. We are now in the unrestricted zone. Okay, let's go. Oh, shit! Yeah, I almost feel like we have slightly less power than normal. Maybe because the battery is not in optimal temperature yet. But okay, so... By the way, the speed here, you see, it's slightly different than the... That's the GPS speed, supposedly. It's slightly different than the, the speedo speed. So the speedo shows 204 right now, and, the, and then car scanner shows 200. So maybe I should just do it like the, the Germans and then camp in the leftmost lane while I'm doing 200. That's what Germans tend to do anyway. So, oh man, okay. Um, should we just unleash the power? Uh, okay, well, yeah, let's just go with Coach Nell. Oh, but okay, so. I think for optimal temperature, I mean, so for optimal performance, you want to have a higher temperature for, for more better outputs, but it, oh shit. And then this happens, of course. It happens from time to time. I have to disconnect car scanner. Oh, sorry, not car. I have to disconnect the OBD adapter and reconnect again. Maybe there's some uh, slight data overflow. I just have to hang in there. It's going to reconnect soon. Come on, come on usually it goes uh, fast. I will also try to empty out the battery. Uh, well, okay, go kind of low and see what happens. Also see how far we can drive. Okay, there you go, we are back there with car scanner. Okay, so cruising at 200 kilometers per hour. Okay, okay, fine. So, you know, the car in the middle lane, it seems like it's going slow, right? But it's actually not going that slow. Let me try to measure the speed of this Mercedes. You see, it's actually cruising at 180 kilometers per hour. Yeah, or 170 or something. But if I floor it, oh, bye bye. <laughs> it's just insanely fast. Oh, 
it? Wait, wait, is there some a little bit of cap now? Oh, there could be a slight cap on the speed because because um, maybe the battery is too cool cool right now. Okay, but uh, let's build up the heat in the battery, shall we? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh man, this is perfect time. It's right before it gets completely dark. We have the this. I think this is the magic hour. And there's almost no traffic. It was mad busy early today. Let me see if I can hit VMAX for the, this configuration then. Holy crap. Okay, I just have to show you guys. Now that, uh, oh, there's a little bit of shake, sorry for that. But yeah, in a, a true German, we do be like this. Du -du 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 you know? Yeah, by going on 250 kilometers per hour. Du -du 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 yeah, this is German, it's true German. If I want German citizenship, I have to drive like this. <laughs> but I'll just uh, do it like a typical German of the Bavarian. They would just camp in the right, right side, the left mode lane. But man, okay, now that we start building up some heat. Wow, that went fast, man. We already have 37 degrees in the battery pack. But now that we have some heat, let me try to... Let me try to get a feel of the power here. Regening. Yeah, regening should also in introduce more heat actually putting in 90 kilowatt at 82 percent okay wow i have to regen a lot oh damn okay i will just regen see if you typically uh, cruise at 100 kilometers per hour how fast does it go take to go from 100 to 200 well let's try oh, 800 kilowatt power output oh 770 Look at that flat power. Shit, man! This thing is mad! Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn! Whoa, okay, how long can we keep to... Oh, region, 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 region. This is the point where I might want to flash. Yeah. Achtung! Ich komme schnell! Achtung! Yeah, yeah, don't sleep, don't sleep! Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is Mercedes. Ich komme schnell. Ah, danke schön, danke schön. Woo! Bye bye. <laughs> Holy crap! I free supercharging. I just go back and charge again, and then come back and hammer it. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> so, oh, okay. Now we're getting some heat in the battery. I'm not sure if you can trust this one. It's just a guideline, right? It claims 755. Uh, kilowatts. I'm not sure how many horsepower that is, uh, but um, wait. I think I got more than that, didn't I? If I slow down here a little bit, so yeah, this is not going to be just a continuous run. I'll also do some uh, some mad uh, hammering. Oh, let's uh, let's get over to this lane. I'll also pay attention. I'm, I'm actually not using track mode because uh, maybe track mode is supposed to be used on the track. All right, let me see. So it claims 770 kilowatt. It actually goes up a little bit. Seems like uh, it needs to uh, get its breath back, right? Yeah, I'll just camp in the middle end because I'm going to hammer soon. 769, okay, 770, all right. Slow down a little bit. And then let's try to, yeah, I also check the mirror. I also film a bit of back, by the way. Oh, there's there's something coming here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, okay, but let's, let's go. Let's, um, Let's camp a little bit. <laughs> wanna see? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to not be in the way. But I just wanna see, just wanna show you guys how insanely fast this car is. We're just camping now a little bit. You see, these guys, they're just cruising, right? Yeah, okay. Let me see how fast is that Bimmer. He's not, he's not that fast. No, no, he's not that fast. He's, uh, yeah, okay, okay. So, all right, let's see now. Seven, okay, it seems like it stops at 770, okay. Um, well, I need enough space. Hang on, wait, 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 the beamer is overtaking the other one. Okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you see, I actually get more power than the BMS claims, or the, the report that the... Shit, it goes so fast! This is insane! The pull! And then, it, you see, it went really fast, and then it has caps there. Like, it has more, way more. This is insane. Like, this is not insane, it's, it's madness, man. I have tried, okay, I used to own Tesla Model S P85 from 2013. The P85 started losing its oomph past 100 kilometers per hour. Um, and then uh, the, the Model X, that was a P90, the ludicrous, 
That one went pretty fast, also past 150, but usually past 200 kilometers per hour. It also started going a little bit slow. The same also goes for the Model 3 Performance I had. I actually had only Performance cars in the past. Uh, but even the Model 3 Performance needed some time to reach 200 kilometers per hour. But this thing here, man, it, it's, the word is effortless. It hits 200 kilometers per hour so fast. I mean, can we try to count how long it takes even? Let's see now, uh, try to count here. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, cru let's cruise at 100 kilometers. Okay, let's cruise at 100, right? Let me see how long it takes to hit 200. Okay, we are doing 100, all right? Okay, 54, 55. <coughs> That was five seconds. Five seconds, 100 to 200. <laughs> I can do this all day. Okay, let's go schnell. Let's go schnell. Okay, let me see. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. You see, you see. Oh, sleeper, sleeper. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but in 11 kilometers, I have to turn around. I wish I would just uh, meet some proper Schnell autos so I can test the power. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I can outrun most uh, Germans out here. Yeah, this is just uh, wow. Like the amount of development in Tesla, they always try to make fast cars. They try to also make them fairly light. Let me just hug the left mostly. Yeah, um, just like a good German, I will hug the left mostly. But also. They've been making the cars faster and faster. And uh, also, they improve the cooling. They improve the, uh, the, the power output, the, the power past, uh, you know, uh, the power at high speed. This car has just a single gearbox, even. A single, sorry, a single speed gearbox. And, and of course, dual motor in the back, but I suspect that they are geared uh, so that they can actually perform quite well at high speed. That was probably the problem with the uh, Millennium Falcon. Actually, m most Teslas in the past, which is that, okay, you tune it so it can go fast um, at lower speed, right? But then uh, eventually it will struggle a little bit at higher speed. So uh, yeah, how many percent? Well, we have seventy percent. Whoa, we can, we can go, we can go a lot, man. Okay, how about testing? Wait, shit, the battery is getting hot. Oh. I should have tested earlier how long we can maintain VMAX. Okay, maybe I'll test VMAX on the way back. How about that? Okay, let it uh, cool down a little bit. Then we can see how long it can keep 260 kilometers per hour. Wait, for some reason it doesn't hit 280 kilometers per hour like it's supposed to, right? Um, okay, let me see. There's supposed to be some speed limits here soon. But actually, huh, interesting. You see that the inlet is only 50 degrees Celsius which means that the car chooses not to cool too aggressively. Uh, when, when I was in track mode pre-cooling, uh, the temperature, the inlet was around 20 degrees lower than uh, the actual temperature. So this indicates that it's just okay, it's fine. It's, yeah, doesn't want to spend too much energy cooling down yet until it reaches a critical, ah, what? Okay, I don't know about that one, sorry. Uh, it, it keeps bugging, seems like maybe once you throw in more and more variables in um, in SkyMy Tesla, it tends to uh, get a little overflow, and then this stuff happens. So I just have to redo it again. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if I should be hugging the leftmost lane when I'm not doing 200. Well, okay, we come to the turnaround point soon. There will be a 120 zone, some slowdown, and then we get here. Here's a slow. Oh, 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 let me just read 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 read. Okay, I don't want to use the brakes too much. I want to keep the brakes nice and cool in case I need to brake hard. Because uh, we don't have the ultra brakes here, the ceramic brakes. So um, that's why, uh, I mean, they will still perform well uh, in a sing or a couple of hard brakes. But then if you brake repeatedly, then uh, they will fade. And that's the problem with the, the I was about to say, the classic brakes. Okay, let me see. Um, maybe I'll go in, in front of this RV before uh, we exit. Oh, it's getting dark. Uh oh, but uh, yeah, still okay. Uh, we we need to do it this time of the day because uh, otherwise, uh, let me see. Well, I have to uh, 
Uh, I, okay. Otherwise, uh, there will be too much traffic. Al already now, there is a lot of traffic in the evening, you see. So, uh, in the daytime, around noon, one in the afternoon, it was mad busy. You could not go schnell at all in the leftmost lane. And they, we ha even have three lanes in this direction. So, you can imagine how, how busy it was in the daytime. Okay, now I, I hear the cooling going. If I open the windows. Yeah, I can hear the cooling. But it's not super aggressive yet. So, uh, but uh, it seems like it doesn't want to go past 50 degrees, right? We, we need to have a battery with even lower internal resistance. So we can um, yeah, get less heat generation and, and better power output. The heat is the problem. We, just, we need some kind of super battery with low internal resistance. Because it, it's, it's at the high speed now that uh, we need... Um, uh, I mean, we, we, we don't want heat. For normal driving, no problem. Even, even when you hammer at 150 kilometers per hour on, on the autobahn, still no, not much heat generation. But now, yes. Okay, let's go. Are we ready? Okay, let's... let's uh, there's almost no traffic. Let me just go from almost standstill. <laughs> oh, damn! Okay, okay, should we just try to maintain VMAX? Okay, let's try. Damn, that pull! What? Like, there was a massive pull even from 230 kilometers per hour. Well, I just have to lift off a little bit here because there's some traffic. You know, uh, we can't expect that they uh, pay attention. Yeah, shit, there's some traffic here. Achtung, Achtung. Okay, let's go. Okay, I feel like it's electronically limited to around 260. The power just felt like it cut the power artificially, not naturally, like the, unlike the other uh, cars in the past. Oh, shit, I have to slow down. There's a sleeper in the left lane. Okay, he, he noticed me. That's good. So they, it might be hard for those guys to uh, notice me because uh, I'm coming so fast and it's... it's Maybe hard to uh, to figure out how fast I'm pro approaching. Whoa, max temp is 60 degrees. Maybe that's the critical point. Okay, I'm slowing down a little bit uh, once I pass some of these cars. In case, for example, this gray car wants to overtake the other one, it's not paying attention. Okay, but I, as long as the middle lane is free, then it's it's safer. Oh 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 oh, there's something going on in the front here. And I, I try to avoid using the brakes, so I'll just try to regen while I can. Okay, okay, there. Uh, uh. So I'm really trying to stress the battery and stress the drivetrain right now to see if there is any performance fade in on Autobahn. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to go on the track and do all that stuff, but that's probably covered by other people like uh, Mishka, Misha, his name is, the, the Nürburgring uh, dude. And then we just do this one that maybe other people don't cover. Oh, I see there's some Mercedes. Okay, he moved over, right? Okay, we're supposed to stress it. Right, let's go. Yeah, I start feeling a slight fade right now. See, it's not as, as punchy as uh, previously, so it probably hit some limit. Wow, 62 degrees Celsius in the battery. Is that healthy? It's still not cooling too aggressively, maybe because, it, maybe because the car knows that um, there is some, uh, a lot of passive cooling with uh, high speed involved here. But also another thing I'll uh, point out is that there is some noise here at high speed. Uh, these uh, these uh, Teslas, they are not uh, optimized for autobound cruising, unlike the German electro autos. But still, um, I feel like it's very nice and stable at least. Even at these speeds, super stable. I'm using yoke wheel. And right now it actually makes perfect sense to, um, to have uh, buttons on the steering wheel because then I don't have to move my hand away from the steering wheel when I want to uh, tur use a turn signal or even use the wiper. So it actually, suddenly, it makes perfect sense. Except for when you are in an urban uh, environment and you need to use turn signal in the roundabout. So ideally, what I actually want is the buttons on the steering wheel plus stocks. Are you guys listening, Tesla? 
I actually, right now, I'm loving the, the yoke wheel. <laughs> but, you know, you can't just use a, a car only for autobahn. You also have to use it in urban environments. So both of them, danke schön. Okay, let me see. If I let the car rest a little bit, what happens then? Wow, the battery cools down slower now. And we are also get, we are stuck behind some dudes. So let me see here. Maybe I should... Uh, yeah, okay, well, he will eventually move away, but uh, I think I'm too far away from him to, him to notice that I, I want to pass him. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, yeah now I feel, ooh, I feel slight uh, uh, loss in uh, power. Yeah. Okay, so it didn't actually take that long. Oh, slow. Oh, it's re I'm regening. I'm regening maximum, but I also wish that regen would be stronger here. Uh, okay, we only have. Uh, let me test here. How much was it again? So Tesla seems to limit to around 80 kilowatt regen. Oh yeah, I forgot. In track mode, you can you can enable more regen, but I don't want to use track mode in the public road. That's why. But I, I wish that in def default you would at least be able to regen, let's say, 200 uh, kilowatts. So. I still wonder why Tesla doesn't allow higher region because many, many other cars, even with smaller batteries like the Korean cars, they can go 300 kilowatt region. Oh, finally, we have some Schnell autos in front of us. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly, exactly what I was uh, trying to look for. Some fast cars. Uh, usually, yeah, in the evening, they will come out. In the daytime, uh, they don't bother trying to go too fast because it's pointless. This is the Renault. Uh, Talisman, I think it's called. Yeah, so Talisman can cruise at 200, roughly. I used to own Renault Laguna, 1.9 liters DZI. It was also pretty fast, but I would struggle to hit 200 with a Renault Laguna. Okay, now we're gonna go to the northmost point. Wow, okay. Yeah, now it feel like uh, maybe the, uh, the cooling uh, kicks in a little bit harder. But I also wonder why the cooling doesn't go uh, more aggressive than this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a Porsche? Yeah. Maybe they should tune it to uh, run the cooling slightly more aggressive. I'm not sure, because if I have power uh, limit now, it means that I want to go faster, right? I want to have more power. Uh, but again, yeah, of course, if you go in the track mode, you can do that. But like I said, you know, I don't want to use track mode on public roads. So maybe Tesla could tune the software slightly to be uh, more aggressive on cooling. Uh, if you, the car could detect that if you're hammering at over 150 kilometers power, it's likely that you are on some kind of autobahn and you actually want more uh, cooling than normal. So we can still use normal mode, not track mode, and, uh, and have better performance. But of course, at the cost of uh, higher consumption. So uh, I saw that when I was stationary, uh, the car pulled whooping seven kilowatts for cooling, but it cooled incredibly fast. Within around 20 minutes, it went from 50 degrees to around 30 degrees Celsius. That is insanely fast. Okay, let me see, uh, 16, uh, I have to pay attention because eventually there will be a turnaround point. Well, I'm at 46%. Wow, I, I did actually spend a lot of energy. <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished. Wow, it gets really loud here when you go schnell. So this is a downside. But Tesla, they chose to make the cars light and fast and nimble rather than putting in uh, way too much uh, soundproof here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, talking a lot. But okay. So I'm supposed to exit in 14 kilometers, I pay attention there. Because I, I chose this stretch because you can go unrestricted with three lanes in each direction without any speed limits. Is that for the southbound uh, turnaround point? Uh, and then I'm planning on doing the 200 kilometers per hour run. I want to know how far we can drive. And then I will cruise more strictly at 200, but now I'll just go a little bit back and forth and hammer it. Oh, go Chanel, come on, come on. Stress the battery. Damn. Yeah, by the way, I have 19-inch Pirelli P0 tires. Uh, 255 front, 285 rear. 
Yeah, it, it seems to cap at 267 on the speedo and then 262 on the on the GPS. So it's actually not the 280 as advertised. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I should uh, prepare for uh, turning around soon. I just hug the left lane. There is no, almost no traffic anyway. I use my mirror. Okay, I forgot. I use my mirror, of course, but I also filmed the mirror this uh, film behind this time. But uh, yeah, we, we also need to test what happens when you go deep. So we will drive it maybe down to around 10% before we go to the supercharger. So let's see how is the performance once you get lower because you then have hot battery and low state of charge. Uh, let me see, when you have high state of charge, you have good power output. But when, when you have cold battery, you have not so good power output. So hot battery and high state of charge is the best power output. And then low state of charge um, generally means lower power, but with hot battery, you get better power outputs. But of course, the car needs to protect the battery and limit itself uh, from uh, damaging uh, the battery. But let's see now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn around here on the next exit. Okay, and then I have to uh, navigate to the south point again. I also don't have to pay attention uh, where the supercharger is. Let's check here. Well, the, the navigation is awesome. Yeah, okay, the supercharger is. We just passed it, yeah. The previous exit was a supercharger. So, uh, and there's another supercharger I can go to. So, plenty of superchargers uh, I can visit. Well, actually, I might, I might want to go to Kalten Kitchen, I think it's called, which is the, um, the south uh, supercharger. Um, no, no, actually, I might want to go to the previous one, the, the one I started at, because that one has toilet and uh, some uh, amenities. Wait, but Kalten Kitchen is closer. Mm. Ah, we'll see, we'll see, I'll decide, uh, but uh, yeah. Okay, so I gave the car a little bit of rest now, the battery is trying to cool down. Uh, let me get a feel now, how is it? Yeah, I feel like we have uh, limited power, so that is still uh, uh, a slight dis um, um, a slight disappointment. It's not that neck snappingly fast all night long, you know? It seems to limit a little bit, so um, yeah. Oh shit! I'm supposed to exit soon. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe I should regen. <laughs> I'm supposed to exit in 4.4 kilometers, so that means we have to slow down. Okay, uh, get in here. Okay, regen some harder. Regen harder. Okay. Here's a turnaround point. All right. Yeah, so turn around here. That was the Model X that was, oh sorry, the Model Y that passed me. It was going fairly fast and then it slowed down. Uh, I suspect that maybe some people recognize me. I mean, it's, this car stands out. Uh, it's green, it's, it's wrapped green and it has Marcus Beal all over the side and so yeah, it's a bit flashy. It's not just some white or black Model S. <laughs> okay, now you guys hear the fan. Wow, but uh, you see here, that's battery flow. This is power trip flow. Yeah, so the 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 they are going. Oh, which it, I'm not paying attention here. Shit, I'm supposed to go over here. Humble. Okay, here, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tripping. Yeah, so the car is working hard now to try to cool down the battery. So, um, yeah, where do I go? Do I go to Kalten Kirchen or Kirchen or do I go to the other uh, supercharger? Um, well, how long have I been recording? Half an hour. Well, you guys are just enjoying the popcorn, right? So I'm just uh, chilling a little bit here. So if you give the car about a minute for resting, will it then suddenly start performing uh, better? How many kilometers did we do now? What? Only 80 kilometers? The fuck? Man, this kind of high performance driving sucks a lot of power. I can't wait to calculate the losses. Wait, speaking of losses, we need to apply more losses. We got the power back. Oh yeah. 
well actually no I still feel like it's slight uh, reduced yeah okay this kind of hammering probably introduces some heat loss <laughs> yeah okay okay wow okay. so actually you see you, you only need to rest a little bit and then suddenly you have uh, pretty awesome power again so um, yeah um, how fast should I drive? Maybe at night, maybe two at night, I can go faster. But now, I feel like uh, I don't want to go too fast. Especially when I'm passing these guys. Wait, well, okay, we need to go deep-ish, right? Okay, yeah. And also, okay, we have two superchargers on this stretch. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he changed his mind. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, that's a German license, but yeah, he actually uses mirror. Oh, yeah, this guy, this guy also. Yeah, you see, well, that's, a, that's a, even a Dane. Oh, thumbs up to the Dane. Danes, they tend to be a little bit sleeper, but um, they actually try to pay attention because I, I think they are used to that. At night, this time of the day, you better watch out in the left lower lane. There are some speed demons over there. Uh, but okay, I, forgot, I was about to mention that. Uh, yeah, we have... Um, um, we have super two superchargers on this route plus two Ionity chargers also, so it's quite safe. I can bail out uh, many places. Plus, that I can just slow poke if I uh, suddenly realize that uh, I'll be out of juice soon. So yeah, okay. Uh, but uh, this this test is about is all about stressing the battery. Try to <laughs> get as much uh, heat loss as possible, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh man, man, it's awesome to see that these guys move over. I mean, they're probably doing it 180 kilometers per hour, but uh, everything becomes slow when you have a plaid. But I just wonder how fast roads they will be, because plaid, I mean, it's still a, a big uh, family car, right? But roadster is supposed to be smaller, more nimble, but... <coughs> Are they really going to put 200 kilowatt hour in there? Because 200 kilowatt hour should be better for heat loss because you then have lower C rating when you discharge, which should mean less, yeah, less heat generated. Man, I can see the percentage drop. <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh, wait, I'm limited to only 200 kilowatt. I just noticed, oh shit. Is this just like the, what was it again? The BMW i4 M50. I think even the M50 had the higher power. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It was just. It. It kept the power. It needed 200 kilowatt to maintain the speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can show you that we have more than 200 kilowatt. Look at. Look at. Oh shit! We have 277 kilowatt. Ah! The battery is cooking. A, B, C, always battery cooking. Ah, nine, nine, we are in limp mode. Ah, you see, I'm flooring it. I'm flooring it. You can see it. You can see it here. This one is the throttle, uh, throttle uh, percentage, right? Oh, scheiße. But I remember the BMW i4 M50, which actually isn't that much more uh, cheaper than this one. Well, okay, I think i4 M50 is around 700K. This is roughly 1 million nook. <clears throat> but the, the M50 needed almost 10 minutes to recover. Well, what about the what about the plan? Okay. What if we uh, kick back a little bit? Okay. Cruise control on. Yeah, huh, wow, it's wow. Uh, it feels so slow now. Wait, was that? Achtung, was that? Unfall. 100 kilometers per hour. Let's see now. Will it cool down? Oh, I see. I just noticed here. Oh, we have lower state of charge now. That's why we have more power limit. But the power limit goes up quite quite quickly. So it just needs to recover. What is that? A fire truck? No, it's ambulance. Okay, ambulance, not polizei. So just want to see now. If we cruise 100 now, how fast does it go up? Now? But I bet we won't see 800 kilowatt anymore. Not at 27% state of charge. So um, maybe I should uh, consider navigating to a supercharger soon. Yeah, 
I think I want to go back to uh, the, the one we were at uh, because there's a, K a Kentucky Fried Chicken over there, KFC. They close at uh, 11 in half an hour. We can be there in half an hour, no problem. Uh, what, we just need 100, we just draw 100 kilometers. <laughs> I started with uh, 70, no, I started with around 90, 94%, 93% battery. Whoa, there we go. Finally, I was waiting for something schnell. Let me see if I can catch that uh, BMW. Oh, that one is fast. Oh, the only problem is that I'm out of oomph now. Oh yeah, that is a proper BMW. I think that's a BMW i5. M5. Yeah, I, I, this is maximum, man. If I met the M5 earlier, yeah, that's the, that's the thing with the M5. It can do it all day long, right? But I have now a power limit. I draw just 100 kilometers. The fossil lowers be like, lol. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, shice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see. Let me navigate to. Uh... Okay, navigate to that charger. Yeah, we're going to go back to that one. All right. Wow, that, that is a Schnell uh, Auto. Yeah, the BMW. That's BMW. Yeah, see, this is why I need to watch out. How fast is it going, by the way, this BMW? Oh, there's no way I can outrun the BMW. I have so much power limit. Oh, this is embarrassing. I hope the roads will be faster. Because I, I suspect it will, because think about this. Like I mentioned, you know, uh, P85, okay, was great, but then P85D, even better. Ludicrous, even better. Even the latest and greatest Model 3 performance still goes quite schnell. And then this one is also uh, uh, very good, but I feel like the Roadster must be even faster because why would you buy the Roadster, right? It, it must be faster than the Plaid. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Is he going flat out? Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on, beat the beamer, beat the beamer. Oh, shit, oh, I can barely overtake him. Oh, no, I met you at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. No, I can't maintain speed. It is so embarrassing. Ah, he's laughing at me. It's like, <laughs> oh, what is that? Uh, Tesla? <laughs> Lol. Well, maybe I have a higher top speed than him. Ah, look, okay, he doesn't want to race me. He can easily uh, hand his, my ass over to him. Wait, no, wait. I think that came out wrong. Yeah. I probably doesn't want to race, but I'm actually flooring it now. Oh, uh, you just want an ABC with a Tesla, you know? Yeah, you, it could be that I have a higher top speed than him. No, no, there's no way, man. There's no way. That car must be capped at 250 kilometers per hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the... Okay, maybe I want to go back now. Yeah, I think I want to go back now. Okay, okay. So I'll try to turn around here. Whoa, shit, he's coming! He's coming! Go schnell! Go schnell! Marcus Biel! He's coming! Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have to prepare. Yeah, I have to prepare to exit. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna exit here. Yeah, okay, I live nearby here. Uh, the hotel is right here. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Um, just never, don't let them know that I'm uh, low on juice. Oh, shit. Oh shit, 900 meters. Oh, oh. Carlton Kitchen. Oh, we just happened to exit the Carlton Kitchen. Okay, okay. But whatever. We're gonna go back to the KFC. All right, all right. Okay. I just silently slip away from the autobahn. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't watch my videos. He'd be like, <laughs> I saw you on the autobahn. Like, oh, okay, shit, man. Okay. Man. But I mean, what, what are you supposed to do? I, I need 200 kilowatt hour battery and I need uh, low internal resistance. And oh, the beamer is behind me. Oh, 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 okay, went over there. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, good the fart, fart. Yeah, it was a good fart. Yeah. Oh shit, it's cooling now. Wait, wait, wait. Could it be that I have power limit because the battery was too hot also? Yeah, that, that was not a regular uh, 5 series i heard the sound it sounds like it was a uh, an m5 even though 
it didn't have that deep it was like you know you heard that right wait don't, don't they make v8 anymore maybe because of regulation and uh, emission they have to downsize to uh, straight six hmm okay anyway wait where am i supposed to go now over here right uh, i'm not too familiar here. uh okay here we go uh back, back, back. yeah okay let's go back to neumunster yeah i mean if that was an m5 he has at least 250 kilometers per hour top speed uh unless he has some kind of package where he goes even faster uh, but normally it's like the gentleman's uh, agreement to have 250 between the uh, the german uh, autos so but i i mean i can just um uh, as a as a thumbnail like i can just uh, you know click clickbaity thumbnail i just say outrun the bmw m5 on the autobahn <laughs> who nobody needs to know the truth what really happened which was that he didn't really try to beat me. He could have beaten me if he wanted to. Okay, but let me see now. Okay, so after giving it a little bit of rest, how is it now? Wait, let me check here. We are 50, we are 25 kilometers away. Uh, okay, let me see now. Oh, I got a power back. 500 kilowatt. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, at least that's good, but can it now go faster or is it still limited to around uh, 200 and uh, something yeah okay wait, wait, wait. but okay so but at least we saw that uh, it could still maintain some speed it was restricted to 240 kilometers per hour right not 260 anymore uh, but oh, just, uh, slow down slow down okay but but it could still maintain that speed but you can say, yeah, it, it couldn't maintain VMAX for too long. So, I mean, it's still one step forward. Uh, uh, this plant is still miles ahead of uh, the other, uh, uh, well, actually, performance-wise, I'm not sure how it is with the other, uh, the, the Germans, the, like, like, for example, uh, um, Mercedes, the, the Formatic Plus, right? Or, uh, yeah. Uh, Porsche Taycan. I haven't tried it on the Autobahn before, Turbo S. Uh, but at least this one, the plant, is better than the previous generation Teslas. Way, way, way more power until it limits. But once it limits, it feels slower. Yes, but it feels, I mean, it's like it's as slow as the previous generation before the limit kicked in, you know? Something like that, roughly. <laughs> so it's still really fast. Um, but um, yeah, we just have to hope that the Roadster will be even faster and better and have the performance because the roads, I, I really hope that the Roadster is tuned, uh, for example, that the cooling is tuned more aggressively and that they have even better cooling, hopefully with the fat cell, uh, so that you can get awesome performance all the way to 10%. But here you saw that already at 20%. Uh, we were starting to see some uh, some performance losses, or, or I think it already started around 40%. And of course, the lower state of charge you have, then the worse it gets um, in general. But okay, I, I'm not sure how fast I should be driving because uh, uh, we are 17 kilometers away. Uh, yeah. Wait, and also, is the battery too hot now? Or... Uh, oh, sorry for the shake, by the way. I think, yeah, the, 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 sh the surface is not s hyper smooth. So there's actually some shake. Yeah, yeah, so... That's why it also introduces some shake. It's not only because of the imbalanced uh, wheels. But okay, so this is this is interesting. Um, it will also be interesting to see how long can I cruise at um, at uh, 200 kilometers per hour. We did actually cruise at 126 kilometers now. I mean, cruise 126 kilometers. But of course, uh, we um, we didn't go uh, at even speed. We went a little bit yo-yo. So the other test will also be interesting to see 
how it can yeah, uh, drive and maintain speed and, and so on and consumption. But I will also give you guys the stats afterwards here. Um, we just have to see, I want to calculate how much losses we had. 12 kilometers for the exit. Well, we can just go deep. Right? Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, 250 kilowatt. Uh oh, uh oh. Only around 200 kilowatt. That's not much power at all, man. Uh oh. So, um, uh, it's a bummer. But also, on the other hand, uh, Tesla or the BMS needs to protect the battery from damaging it. So it's not safe to discharge at too high uh, C rating at low state of charge. But this is where it makes sense to have a bigger battery because with bigger battery you need you know, lower power or I mean lower power, lower C rating. Yeah, you need you need you need the same power, right? You are you, you're not demanding power, but you just request lower C rating. So yeah, I'm excited for growth, the man. But then will it be something like uh, Plat Plus? You know? Yeah, yeah. You know I. I get the impression that the drivetrain was performing really well. I didn't pay attention to this one. It seems like the motors, they were doing fine, no problem. And you guys saw it, it, it could cool, it could uh, perform, but eventually the battery, which has a lot of mass uh, thermal, or I mean, it, it, it has big mass and it takes long to heat up, but also it takes long to cool it down. Once the battery heats up, then it takes more to cool it down. Um, but also the limitation of the battery in terms of C rating and so on. So I feel like if Tesla introduces the Plaid Plus like they originally planned, but they just cancel it, uh, that could actually make the existing Plaid with the same motors and everything uh, even more awesome. Because I feel like the biggest limitation here is the battery, not the motors. They they are just insane. What well, did I say? Uh, uh, they are ludicrous. Then they are plaid, yeah, they are plaid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going a little bit deep. Wait, wait, is this the Ionity charger? No, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, exit in six kilometers, All right? To go schnell. Well, well, I wonder if we have 60 degrees Celsius. We, that will not be uh, optimal for the for the um, uh, supercharging. We should plug in and see what kind of supercharging speed we get, right? Just as a bonus, since we already are uh, 47 minutes in the video now, yeah, why not? Okay, let's see. All right. Um, wait, how fast can we drive at 7%? Oh. I can still go 200-ish. <laughs> wow, these guys are going schnell now. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I should use this one. I noticed that. You guys see it? The Bimmer, the, the M5, the white M5. He actually used the middle lane by going over 200 kilometers per hour. That is a true German. Yeah. I'm going to be even more true German by going on the rightmost lane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Why does it feel bumpy here? Okay. Uh, at one point, I need to start slowing down. Okay, let's slow down now. Oh, shit. I feel like that guy might want to change lane. No, he's not. It's not my bad, my bad. Okay, no, no. Why am I all over the lane here? Shit, man. The guy's gonna yell at me. Okay. You see, there's supposed to be an exit in 1.7 kilometers. Okay. Yeah, normally when I go uh, at high speed, uh, I will usually prepare around two kilometers before the exit. Why, why am I getting hungry again? What? I think I need to grab some KFC before they close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do that. I had a salad from KFC. It was okay. And they had balsamico and shit. Uh, but I feel like it wasn't filling me up enough. And I have been driving and hammering a lot. So, um... Oh shit, there's a Dane. I shouldn't have stayed behind him. Uh, it was a bummer. Um, I, I wish I've, uh, I met that uh, BMW earlier when I had uh, more power. But you see, this, this is the problem. I mean, you can have a little bit of fun. Uh, like with this plaid, is even a hundred kilowatt hour battery, but after after less than an hour, then you're already out of juice. A fossil can go for several hours before they're out of juice. Okay, the fossil might also consume a lot of juice while they are hammering it, maybe as much as 20, 30 liters per hundred kilometers, especially when you floor it like that. I mean, think about this: you you demand a thousand horsepower, right? Even fossil cars uh, need a lot of power for that one, or I mean, dinosaur juice. 
um, but um, yeah but when it comes to losses uh, let's see how much we have uh, I have to look at the data once I'm stationed I'm, I'm stationary now we're cooling down the battery a little bit before we plug in 60 degrees Celsius hmm you know when we go for normal uh, like 1,000 kilometer challenge the car tries to heat up the battery to around 40 degrees only uh, so 60 is um, is it gonna rapid gate I wonder the cooling is going fairly well, high ish but not super high maybe because the car doesn't want to spend too much energy wait I wonder if Burger King here is open 24 7 but uh, I'm not it's too far away to walk uh, wait oh oh they have a gas station here. I need to buy some drinks. No, oh, yeah, I have drinks. I forgot. My bad. Okay, let me see. Um, the exit is ahead here. KFC. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you see, it's cooling down the battery slightly, but uh, hmm, there will probably be no. Uh, No heating up or no afterburn, no afterburner needed for uh, this. Somehow I, I prefer backing down, backing, backing into the charge rather than driving straight through it. Okay, let me just do this. Oh, there's a lot of fan going on. The fans go wild. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see now. Do we get 250 kilowatt from the bottom, or will it do that slow ramp up again? like it always does when we go lower than 12%. Well, let's find out. Let's plug it in. Oh man, that was quite intense. Ooh. Wait, 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 before, before, I should, I need to, I need to write down some numbers here. Yeah, that's right. Let, let it cool a little bit. Start, okay, and so we ended at um, uh, 5.7 kilowatt hour. Okay, and then uh, you see here 5.7 kilowatt hour, and then the car um, used 67.7 kilowatt hour. Oh, I should just take a sh I should take a screenshot of, of this one, so I have all the numbers here. Also, well, I already have it in there. I forgot. Uh, but wow, it regenerated almost 10 kilowatt hour. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Look at that! Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, plug it in. 481 watt hour per kilometer. see okay um, at least no um, no heating of the battery it should rather cool the battery okay here this one this always happens is that uh, you get this uh, slow uh, speed KFC closes in 10 minutes okay let's give it a minute before we really <laughs> have to go to KFC and check it uh, yeah grab some food over there before they close. Come on, come on, come on. We just need a couple of minutes now so we can see 250 kilowatt hour per hour. Yeah, it's cooling only at around one kilowatt. Two kilowatt, one to two kilowatt for cooling. Okay, it shouldn't take too long before, but okay, while we're waiting for the ramp up, I can calculate now. 82.5 minus 5.7 kilowatt hour. Wait, where is it? If I was... Wait, so we spent 76.8 kilowatt hour. Damn! Yeah, we spent 76.8 kilowatt hour and we have 67.7. .7. What? What? That's 9.1 kilowatt hour loss. <laughs> Shit. That is massive losses. No wonder. 9.1 kilowatt. There, 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 go, there, go. 250 kilowatt now. But holy crap, man. 9.1 kilowatt hour loss. Ah. 
that is a lot of uh, and like, uh, in percentage um, yeah there's um, there's over ten, over 10 percent loss here because we hammered so hard but this is good we have a result now and we can compare when we cruise at 200 because I suspect that okay I mean this this kind of yo-yoing I mean who does that right uh, I'm just doing it to test the capability of the car but uh, more 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 like that BMW dude he was just cruising at constant speed that's more like what normal people should do right so then we need to test oh look at this yeah we need to test um uh, how it uh, how much loss we have when we we go at 200 i suspect the loss will be way lower but look at the the car is actually rapid gating right now oh damn it's rapid gating ah oh, okay but anyway um i think i need to end it here i had to go over to uh, kfc <laughs> so that's gonna be for now i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later